In this segment, we'll look at Microsoft Project 2010 and how it deals with resources, particularly resources that have been over allocated. So we have a sample project here with 22 tasks already loaded with their durations and predecessors. And even we can look over here in this column, the resources have already been assigned. Now in this case we've loaded the resources and we've created the project, but we've allowed Microsoft Project to schedule each resource to start its activity at its early, earliest possible time. And as a result of that we see these characters showing over here on the Gantt chart, and if I click on them and hover over them, I see a message that says this task has resources assigned which are over allocated. That means that that resource is being requested to work more in a given time period than has been allowed. So if we go over here and see a little more details on that, we'll go to the resource sheet and I see this project has five resources on it and each of those resources, uh, ha the first three have this little yellow marker and if I hover over it again it shows me this resource is out over allocated so we can see specifically that these resources are being asked to work more than they've allocated to this project. If we look over here on the max, this is what's driving it, is that these resources were set up for 200%, so they're allowed to work at up to twice of what could be completed in a normal amount of time. So maybe there's two resources assigned or two teams assigned. Same way with development. Documentation is just 100, assembly test 100, and purchasing is 100. But this will, um, Microsoft Project will help us resolve this. So if I go to Project, Project Information, I just want to check. It shows that this project is going to begin work on January 6, 2015, and the project will end June 3rd, 2016. So that gives us kind of our benchmark. And let's go in and see if we can resolve some of this. I'm going to go into Resource. Right over here is where we go through the leveling process. And what leveling does is it takes tasks that are assigned to a resource and if that resource is over allocated it attempts to move that task around in the schedule where there's slack available so it only move a task that's not on the critical path a task that actually has slack available so I'm going to go into leveling options first and I want to put this check block on down here level only within available slack because if I don't do that it actually will move my completion date so I'd like to see how well we can resolve these over allocations and still honor our June 3rd 2016 date so I'll click on level all and it's going to start giving me some messages when it can't resolve within the, the slack time, but I'm going to just skip those and see that the result is that two of my three resources are now correctly allocated. Only development is over allocated. We can also see this if we go over to the resource graph and on the resource source graph, let me see which uh, resource again was over allocated that was development so we'll go to the resource graph for development if we use the page up and page down we actually can find them there's development and if we scroll across we're looking for any of the red uh, and there it starts it looks like uh, starting in early March they're over allocated and then they continue up to being 500 percent which is going to be a little too much unless we can get some extra teams assigned to the project so we're looking for any red as being over allocated times now we can still resolve this one more time. We'll go back to Resource, Leveling Options. We'll turn off Level within Slack. We'll still level the entire project. We could just do a portion of the time. We'll do the entire project, but we'll do it without doing it in Slack. I choose OK. Oh, I should have chose Level, I suppose. There we go. Level All. There we go. It's resolved. We'll go back to our resource sheet. No one is over allocated go back to our project, project information, but we see now that the project completion date has moved out to October 31st, 2016, so we've actually added four months to the project completion in order to take care of this over allocation of the documentation team. So we can resolve the situation, but there are certainly uh, challenges with doing that. We have to be willing to either add more resources to the project or allow the completion date to extend beyond what we had anticipated.